the patient is placed in a supine position. The anterolateral thigh flap involves the skin paddle and the descending branch pedicle of the lateral circumflex femoral artery. This video demonstrates the subfascial harvesting technique, dissecting the plane below the fascia lata, taking the fascia with the flap. The major perforators to the skin paddle are normally located within a 2 to 3 cm radius from the midpoint between the anterior superior iliac spine and lateral border of the patella. After confirming the location of the perforators using Doppler, the medial border of the skin flap will be outlined. The skin and subcutaneous fat will be incised along the medial border of the flap, followed by dividing the fascia lata, revealing the rectus femoris muscle underneath. The skin and fascia lata will be reflected laterally, and major perforators to the skin paddle will be identified. In most patients, a myocutaneous perforator is found, which traverses the medial edge of the vastus lateralis muscle. For some patients, a septocutaneous perforator is found instead, which runs in the intermuscular septum between the rectus femoris and vastus lateralis muscles. In this unique case, both myocutaneous and septocutaneous perforators are present. The rectus femoris muscle will be retracted medially and separated from the vastus lateralis muscle to reveal the descending branch pedicle. The vastus lateralis muscle fibers overlying the myocutaneous perforator will be carefully divided to reveal the course of the perforator to the descending branch pedicle. The pedicle, including one artery and two venae comitantes, will be divided distal to its myocutaneous perforator branch. With the course of the perforators identified, they can now be safely avoided. The lateral border of the skin paddle and fascia will be marked and incised. The skin paddle is reflected laterally, and the fascia will be carefully transected on the proximal and distal border to maintain a safe distance of 2 to 3 cm to the perforators. The vastus lateralis muscle will be dissected to free the myocutaneous perforator. A small muscle cuff will be left beneath the perforator to identify the orientation and prevent twisting and injury to the perforator. Care will be taken to spare the motor branch of the femoral nerve to the vastus lateralis muscle. The descending branch pedicle will be mobilized by dividing small muscular branches and raised in a distal to proximal direction. The proximal end of the pedicle will be divided, distal to the branch to the rectus femoris muscle, in order to preserve the blood supply to this muscle. The flap will be removed from the surgical field in preparation for reconstruction.